my channel today's video is going to be actually a makeup tutorial I have not done a makeup tutorial for a long long time so bear with me if it's ropey so I'm starting with no makeup obviously and I'm just gonna shove my hair back so it is out of the way I thought I would do my everyday makeup tutorial because I do get a lot of questions about my makeup and stuff about how I do it what products I use and stuff so this is my real everyday makeup it's not like exaggerated for youtube or anything like that this is literally what i use every single day so let's get on with it so the first thing that i use is a real techniques blusher brush and also the gosh primer set this is basically a powder version of a primer so it is really really good for using on your t-zone i've got normal to oily skin so on my t-zone it just draws out the oil and just makes you less shiny throughout the day now for foundation i'm just taking a foundation brush this is like a kabuki stippler and i'm also using the estee lauder double wear light foundation i've got a little bit of tan on at the moment so i am using intensity one and also intensity three so i'm just going to use intensity three around the uh, cheekbones and also the tops just for a very light contour once you've got your base done you can then move on to brows i really like a more dramatic eyebrow because as you can see i haven't really got much eyebrows really uh, they're quite dodgy my eyebrows are so i like to fill them in quite a bit and for that i tend to use a this sort of brush which is a mini majestic angular shader by royal and lanicle this is actually a paintbrush um, but it was really really fine and i thought it was great for brows i also like to use a spoolie this is just a clean spoolie um, to get them in place and then i actually use the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in time there is nothing better than a new part of eyebrow <laughs> I wish I had perfectly Instagrammable eyebrows, but I don't. It's just one of those things. My eyebrows are well dodgy close up, but eh, it's all right when it's all together. <laughs> Once the dodgy slugs are done, you can then pop on your concealer. I use the Last Imperfection Concealer by Collection. As you can see, it's extremely well loved. So I use the shade Fair Number no. One. Just going to pop that all underneath the eyes in the inner corner. Also on my eyelid as well because I get like quite dark patches on my eyelids so just a rough guide and then you can obviously brush it out and blend it out later i just do a bit on the lips just to even out the skin tone for when the lip gloss goes on then going back in with the foundation brush i just blend that in a little bit underneath the eyes So from here there's quite a few different things that I use on my eyes but the main thing that I go for is like a soft sort of pink look and for that I am going for the base which is Painterly by MAC. Because you know I'm all about that mix, about that mix. No trouble. So I take that all over the lid to just below the brow bone. Then from the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, I take this shade here which is blonde which is like a really shimmery highlight colour and pop that just on the brow bone. Then for the centre of the eyelid, I'm just taking this eyeshadow from Kiko and it's a really, really shimmery, like pale pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really great on tired eyes as well, which I always look like I have tired eyes because I have humongous suitcases under them. So I'm just placing that in the centre of the lid. And also just taking a bit underneath. Then with a fluffy blending brush, I am just going to take a bit of this much loved bronzer, which is from MUA. This is my favourite bronzer. It's shade three and it is one pound, which I absolutely love. Just tap off the excess and use this as a crease colour. And then just blend that in with a clean brush. Then to darken things up a bit from the Naked Smoky palette, I am taking this dark brown shade, which is Whiskey, and placing that on the outer corners of the eyes. And blending. You can take a little bit of that underneath as well.
You can really go as heavy or as light as you want with that. It's getting to night time now, so I thought I would do it a little bit heavier than I usually would. So for eyeliner in the waterline, I'm taking this scandalized pencil, which is just the black one, and just popping that on the tight line and waterline. Blend that into so you've got no sharp edges. Now for liquid eyeliner, this is the one that I've been using. This is by Makeup Gallery, and this is actually from Poundland. I have tested so many eyeliners and this is definitely my favourite. I just absolutely love the formulation and the brush and you just can't go wrong with the pound. I love it. Once you've done that you can go on to powder. Of course I still use the good old faithful Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is the absolute best powder I swear by it for oily skin or normal to oily skin. I just absolutely love it. This is the translucent shade in 001 and it's just absolutely brilliant. So just again taking the same brush as I applied the Gosh Prep and Prime with. I will just take a little bit of the powder and just pop it on. Just soaks up any of the excess oil and helps to keep you shine free. We all love a bit of shine free. Now for a slight bit of warmth, I am just going back in with the MUA bronzer. This is again shade three. It is a completely matte shade and I'm really not a massive fan of contouring. I wouldn't sit here and do a complete contour because I think it can look a little bit over the top. I just don't really like it very much. So I just like to do a soft blend with this. Still in the places of the contour, but just very, very lightly. So you've got a little bit of definition, but it's not sort of too chiseled. Take a little bit down in there. For blusher, I use this Primark blusher, which I've been using for absolutely ages now. It's only £2. I've got a Clinique one that's pretty much the same colour, but I still always go back to this. I can't help it. And it's just this really, really bright pink, which looks a bit scary to begin with, but actually it's not that pigmented. It's it's quite... It's alright. Like, see, it does look quite pink, but it's not so scary when you put it on. See, it just gives that nice rosy tinge but not too much. And then I just blend that down a little bit more with a clean blending brush. Blending slash fluffy brush. <laughs> now for lips, I know this is a considerable amount darker than the lip shade that I'm gonna use, but this is the MAC Lip Pencil in Stone. This is definitely my favorite, favorite lip pencil. I absolutely love it. And I can you can basically wear any single shade with it. If you blend it in, it just gives like enough definition to just look like a shadow, just to make your lips look a little bit plumper. But it doesn't, you know, give you too much over the top of a look if you blend it in well. It's really, really, really good. I love it. So I've blended that in. See how it just gives a really, really light outline, but not too much. So I'm just gonna do the same on the bottom. So with that, you could go ahead and put a nude shade on. You could put a matte a liquid lipstick, a nude or pink or anything. Just anything, kind of goes with everything. So I'm actually gonna take this Kiko uh, lipstick, uh, sorry, lip gloss, which is actually one of my favourite, favourite lip glosses. I bought this when I was in Milan. Um, obviously, you can get it over here now. This Kiko stores really glossy, not sticky. I just, oh, I just love it, and I love the metallic -y, sheeny colour of it. It's just so gorgeous, and I just think it's quite a classy colour, and you can wear it with so many different eye looks as well. It's really great. And that lip gloss is the super gloss in shade. 106. Last but not least, I've got mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is the waterproof one, which is quite difficult to get off, but it's really, really good. The wand is like that. Usually, I don't really like a plastic wand. I prefer the bristle ones, but I do actually really like this mascara, so I'll be using this today. So here it is, the finished look. You could also pop some lashes on if you wanted a little bit more of a dramatic look, but because this is my everyday makeup tutorial, obviously I don't put lashes on every single day, so I just thought I would do it exactly how I do it. That's basically it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that, something a little bit different, and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!